Hey, how's it going? I've got two guitars today. We're gonna to be comparing a Godin against a Fender. We've got a Godin Stadium HT in Havana Brown. Look at these guitars. They're art. Not only are they instruments and tools, they're just art. And this is a Fender Pro 2 Dark Knight. Also art in the making. There you go. You'll see more images and videos close up. Why am I comparing these two guitars? Because I think it's interesting. They're, they're both Telecaster style. One obviously is a real Telecaster. One's a Telecaster copy or homage, whatever you want to say. The one from Godin. And uh, the, price, the price points are very different. The Godin would be like mid-range. The Fender would be a lot higher up in price. Yet, they both have really good features. I'd say they're premium guitars. The Godin being a lot less, but having a lot of similarities. So I thought it'd be cool to compare them in a, a versus. And what we'll do is we'll go over all the specs. And I have uh, full deep dive videos that I've done in the past. You can go check those out after. Don't go now, just, just stay here. Hang on for a couple minutes. Yeah, so we'll go over all the specs. We're gonna lay out all the specs in detail. So you can see them side by side and then decide like, hey, you know what? That guitar is not worth that. Or that guitar is worth that. Or that guitar is worth too much. And then you can really decide what's best for you. And that's the point of these videos. And uh, also to uh, make you wanna buy them. That's the other point. So we're gonna lay out all the specs side by side. Then we'll get into a deep dive where, no, no. Then we'll get into a, a blind tone challenge where you'll just hear them side by side and you can listen and be like, hey, that sounds pretty good. You gotta guess which is which, you're not gonna see. And then after you can guess. The one thing I cannot convey over the internet is just how much I love you. But no, what I mean is uh, I, can't, I can't tell you how they feel in, my, in your hands. I can tell you how they feel in my hands, but maybe you don't like wearing pants and I like wearing pants. So I'm like, wearing pants feels good. And you're like, you're crazy. So it's the kind of stuff, touchy feely things you can't convey. Maybe one day they'll have like haptic virtual reality feedback and you can actually go to Fender site with a VR thing and you can pick up a guitar. I know that sounds crazy, but I bet you it's coming one day. It'll probably be a Saturday. And that's a big thing. That's a big thing. Being able to feel things, it's huge. And even she said that, that's what she said. Stop it. That's old. That's bad. The office was 20 years ago. Stop it. No, it wasn't. I will quickly mention the price in uh, USD, which is American, and then you can convert it to uh, whatever you want. So the uh, the Godet, and I'm saying it right, just so you know, I've confirmed that like 18 times. The Godet is 749 US, and the Telecaster from Fender, the Pro 2, is 14.99. As of whenever this video is, and uh, it's like we're in November of some year on Earth. There we go. We'll start with the bodies. We're not gonna talk about anybody else's bodies except these guitars. No body shaming here. Okay, they're both solid body. That's pretty That's pretty obvious, they're not uh, hollow bodies. So the Fender, they call it an American Professional II Telecaster. That's the body shape. The Godin, the shape is uh, a stadium. Because, you know, it looks like a stadium. I don't know where the names come from. Fender, Alder body. And I got cheat sheets here. I'm not even gonna pretend I'm not looking at a cheat sheet. I can't remember all these specs. Just bear with me, you're gonna love it. The Godin, uh, one of the reasons it's really, really light is it's Canadian Laurentian basswood. There you go. And there's a there's a common con misconception, I think, with basswood that it's so light and flaky or, or that you're going to just break it. It's wood. What are you doing with your guitar? Are you taking it and like, using it as an axe? It's going to be fine unless you're really smashing it or something. I don't know. You got kids around and they're, they're hitting your guitars? Yeah, it'll probably break. Don't, don't have kids around. I don't have kids around. I have kids, so I can say that. Body finish on the Fender is gloss polyurethane, and the Godin is semi-gloss. It kind of feels like an acoustic guitar, if you know what I'm talking about for the Godin. Fender is Dark Knight. That finish, man, you're probably looking at it right now and saying like, how did they even finish that finish? They, uh, they contacted Bruce Wayne and they, no, they just did it. I don't know, it's awesome though. It's one of my favorites of all time. And then you got the Godin's Havana Brown. It's it's nice too, kind of natural, but I mean the Dark Knight. And this isn't like, I'm saying which one I like more than the other, because they're, they're very different, but I like the, uh, the Dark Knight more for the finish. Anyways, let's move on to the neck. The next part, the neck. I meant to say the neck part. The neck is the next part. This guy mumbles a lot. All right, for the, the, the Fender, we got Maple Neck. Oh, Godin is gonna up this one. They're gonna, it's Hard Rock Maple. Whatever that is, I guess the trees grow on rocks or something. The Fender is a deep C. The Godin is uh, a D shape, so it's a thinner, 
thinner neck. If you like thinner necks, the goddamn will probably feel nicer to you. They're both bolt-ons, Michael bolt-ons. Now this is where things differ, and I didn't even know this spec until I just read it the other day. The Fender is nine and a half inch radius. I knew that. The Godin is 12 inch. Who knew? I didn't know that. They knew, because they made it, so. Uh, we've got a rosewood fingerboard on the Fender. And again, this is just the one I have. They also make a maple, but uh, I, I chose rosewood this time. It's a maple fretboard on the Godin. Uh, the inlays, white dots on the Fender, black dots on the Godin. That's just a cosmetic thing. Two, not two, 22 frets on both. Narrow tall for the Fender, and it doesn't really say for the Godin. They're just 22 frets, okay? Just 22 Godin frets, that's what it is. Scale length, identical, 25 and a half inch. Nut width, 1.685 on the fender, and this will probably be a deal breaker to some people, but it's 1.650 on the Godin. It's a little bit thinner, a little bit slimmer, so maybe that maybe you don't like thin nuts. It's bone material for the fender on the uh, the nut, and the nut material on the Godin is Graftech. I think Graftech is the people that, invent, that invented the technology for graphs. Enough, next, moving on to the hardware. The bridge tailpiece on the fender is a three saddle, top load or string through. It's got the option, that's pretty cool. Somebody pointed that out to me, I didn't realize that. Uh, and it's string through with brass bullet saddles. And what that means is the ends are like curled. I don't know why I did that. And I thought that's a really cool feature. That's really nice, because you're not gonna like rub your hands and scratch it. And guess what? The Godane did the same thing. It's a custom T ashtray bridge with three brass saddles. And if you notice the bridge, uh, the brass saddles on that are also rounded like that. I'm just doing that. That's the, that's the uh, universal signal for rounded brass saddles. Tuners, standard Fender die-cast tuners. The tuners on the uh, Godin, they describe them as closed gear, 18 to one ratio. Moving on to the electronics, this is where they differ. Similar, but different. The neck pickup is a V-Mod 2, Tele single coil. That's on the Fender. The neck pickup on the Godin is a GS3 single coil. These are custom pickups for the Godet. The bridge pickup is a V-Mod 2 Tele single coil, again, on the Fender. The bridge pickup on the Godet is a custom Cajun single coil. It's spicy. It's gotta be. It says right on it. The controls, you got a master volume, you got a master tone, you got a push-push button on the tone. Oh, this is on the Fender. And then on the Godet, you've got a master volume and a master tone. This is where things get a little bit different uh, for the Fender. So it's got a three-way blade switch. If you're in the middle position and you press the tone button, you get a humbucker tone. So that's kind of cool, it adds some versatility. On the Godin, it's a three-way blade switch, but it's angled, if you notice that. It's kind of cool, it's easier to touch with your pinky finger. Some people like that. I don't really find it helps me play any better or worse, so it's just a thing. Yeah, I guess for the uh, the Fender, they're just trying to add something new, make it a little bit more modern with the, uh, the added tone controls. And a couple of miscellaneous thing on the Fender guitar, it's nine to 42 Fender bullet strings. The Godin has 10 to 46, it doesn't say what brand they were. I would guess they're uh, some brand made by a company. Uh, you get a hard shell case, you get one of the Elite cases with the Fender, which is really nice. And the Godin has a really, really nice gig bag. So you're, you're set with either one. Both are amazing guitars. There we go.
Okay, hope hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope something. I don't know. Just I hope. I just hope. Uh, first of all, did you guess which guitar was which? Leave me a comment below. Which one would you pick? Which guitar seems like the better value to you? Uh, maybe you have one of them. You can leave me some feedback about what you think about each guitar. Maybe you're like, I hate this guitar, or I love this guitar, or I'm indifferent. I just have it and I just ignore it all day. I don't know. If you are looking at getting any of these guitars, I will have affiliate links. I got you covered if you're in North America or if you're in Europe or if you're across the world somewhere else that I've never heard of. You might be able to get it. Just check out the links below. Uh, affiliate links help support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't even really know you're using them unless I tell you. So if somebody's not telling you, you should, you should ask them, hey, am I using your links? What? All right, that's gonna do it. Super appreciate it. Thanks for watching again. I don't usually say that. That's not my thing. I usually say this. As always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. What? <laughs> 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 <laughs>